Uh, this is actually a question I'm not going to answer tonight for you guys. Um, it's a question that I had, and you can look it up yourself and have a figure out. It's a question I had, and when you have a question, well, usually if I have a question, I ask Google. And I'm not kind of an SEO kind of guy, I'm a web developer, um, but when you have a question, you ask Google, and then you've got another question, and it's, well, what's, what results do I want to look at? So I'm thinking, this is not a scientific experiment that I've conducted, it's an exercise in curiosity, and as we get further into the presentation, you'll probably realise that there really wasn't much of a point to the exercise in curiosity. But I'm thinking about, how do we search search? I've interviewed three people, my daughter Leah and some friends, Matt, who's 26, he's a designer, and Brian, who's a business partner, he's 30, he's a project manager guy. So I'm, I'm kind of interviewing, but like I said, it's not science. I cannot, I'm not saying this is uh, anything scientific. I'll just waste a slide here and say, this is someone using Bing to find Google. That did happen. That actually happened. I saw that happen. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm really, I didn't realise Bing was a sponsor tonight, but anyhow. So, um, so I did a search. Why does, a conductor, why does an orchestra need a conductor? I got some results. We know what this looks like. This is, you know, usual kind of Google doing what Google does. I started to think, well, how do people, what do people do with that? What do they, how do they figure out what they do? And I asked my survey people, what are you looking at? I said, we're looking at the title. Everyone looks at the title. We all know we look at the title. We see the keywords we typed in reflected back at us. When there's lots of them and there's lots of bold, we think, wow, cool, I'm onto something here. I might click on that one, as opposed to maybe the bottom one, which I don't. Now, in my survey, everyone seemed to use this, because, I mean, everyone uses it. I think Google could probably be just the titles if it wanted to. It doesn't really need to be all the other bits and pieces that it throws on the screen. And I'm waiting for the slide now, which is kind of odd. So the next thing people look at and we all look at is the body. I know I don't really look at it, but my survey group told me that they were reading these words. I, I think I just see lots of bold and I think, well, okay, maybe I'm onto something. Maybe this is what I, what I want to click on. My daughter, Leah, she read every word. I'm, I'm convinced she read every word of that body, but the adults in my survey I think they skipped it. I, I don't think they were really reading it. I think they kind of just were fudging it. The next thing that people look at, or that we all look at, is the URL. And this is where really people got a bit skewed, I think. Kids don't seem to care what the URL is. They just click on results. Adults seem to think that the age or the BBC or the Wikipedia might be a really good thing to do, even if it is the 15th result in the page. Um, and URLs like that wise geek one that people saw there, if it's, a, if it's a URL that sort of seems to be outside of what you're searching for, my survey group, they kind of really penalise that a lot. And I, like I said, I really saw a lot of older, sophisticated users get really thrown by a URL. Now this, when I made people click and actually go to a page, this was the top result for my question. And seriously, everybody closed that tab. They didn't want to look at it. It was pretty tragic. Even though... It kind of does give the answer in, the, in, a, in, a, in a pretty broad way. This one, there's a ballerina. I'm looking for conductors and an orchestra. I don't know why there's a ballerina there. This was result number two. The answer's actually really good. Too much crap happening. Everybody just closed this tab, didn't want to look at it. My designer friends, they kind of like this one. It's nice and simple. The answer's actually really good. And um, I'm not kind of too assaulted by what's happening. But as I'm asking my friends and my daughter these questions, about what they're looking at and what they're using, I'm starting to kind of think that maybe they're answering my questions just because I asked the questions, not because they're really doing anything. This is the BBC site that people thought would be fairly authoritative. The answer is there. I don't really know this Grant Llewellyn guy and I don't really care for him too much, but he's a conductor apparently, but it's not what I was looking for. Another bad, oh, another good example of a site that no one really wanted to look at even though the answer is on the page. But like I said, I'm, I'm beginning to think that people don't really do all this stuff. I think they're just answering these questions because I ask them. Like I said, it's not a scientific experiment. It might just be pointless. Another a URL that people thought would be very authoritative is the Age newspaper. Turns out it was just an article that had a heading tag that was kind of surprisingly similar to the question I asked. Doesn't really inform me at all about my question. Wikipedia, everybody knows Wikipedia, it wasn't the answer in this case, even though a lot of people kind of... Why am I saying a lot of people? I only asked three people like what they were doing. But everybody seemed to click on the Wikipedia, even though it was about the seventh thing in the list. I'm very sceptical about what my survey group are telling me. So I look up some kind of Google eye-tracking kind of results, and it seems that really everybody just looks at the first two results and 
That's about it. So all my friends who had these kind of in-depth ways of analysing their Google results, I think it was really pretty much a load of crap. And really, you probably just have to get your site as high as you can on Google. And like I told you, it was kind of an experiment, a bit of curiosity, and didn't really tell us anything that we probably didn't already know. Thank you. <laughs>